Hi there. If you're here, I hope it's because you're working on the hinges, wings and flying things project and you've reached the section where you're trying to use the micro bit for the first time. So this video is designed to help you with the micro bit section. I have already taken my micro bit out, connected it by USB to my laptop. And now I'm looking at the book and it's saying I need to go to a site called makecode.microbit.org. And I'm terrible at remembering URLs and I make a lot of typing mistakes. So I'm actually just gonna type make code micro bit here and it'll probably find the right page. Sure enough, there we go. Microsoft make code for micro bit, makecode.microbit.org. That's the site I want. So we wanna to go to that website. Now there is a great tutorial here. If you've never used a micro bit before, you might wanna go through that. It might help you out. Um, if you wanna jump right in and start playing, then you would choose new project, just like it says in the book. You've gotta give your project a name. Well, since this is hinges, wings, and flying things, I'm gonna call this project my flying thing project. So what we have now is we have a project we can use to program our micro bit. And this is what we call sometimes blockly code. We're gonna drag and drop blocks of code to see what things look like. Though if you wanna get fancy, you can see things in JavaScript over here, but let's stick to the blocks. It's simpler when we're getting going. And you'll see two blocks, which you can move around as you wish on the screen. And one says on start and one says forever. The difference between the two is on start literally has the code that you want to run the very first time, just once, just when you start up the micro bit. So it'll only run once. Whereas code you put in forever runs, as the book says, forever. It runs over and over and over again. It just keeps loop th looping through it over and over and over again. Um, for this uh, chapter, we're gonna use the forever. So I'm actually gonna delete on start by just highlighting it and I'm just pressing the delete button on my keyboard. Um, and that will just keep for a cleaner screen so it's easier, easier for me to keep track of what I'm doing. If you accidentally delete the wrong one and you're like, oh no, you don't have to restart everything. Over here, under the, you have a whole bunch of different things you can drag and drop to the screen to control your micro bit. And under basic, you will find there's the forever, there's the on start, and everything we're gonna need actually for hinges, wings, and flying things is under basic. So I'm just gonna drag the forever over and now I can start up. So I have this forever loop and then I can have it say, I wanna do something. And what we're trying to do in hinges, wings, and flying things is we wanna make a happy face when our, so our bat or our butterfly has a happy face micro, on the micro bit. So if I go to basic, you'll see there's an option here to show an icon. So I can drag that over and I put it inside the forever loop. Don't put it over here, won't do anything because it'll never run. It'll be like, there's some code, but I don't know when to run it. When do I wanna run the code? I wanna run it forever. Just go over and over running this line of code. Show the icon heart. And over here on the left, you'll notice as soon as I did that, this little image, this emulator of the micro bit showed the heart. And if I change the icon here, because if you click the little drop down, you can change the icon and I maybe change that to like a little duck. You'll see that um, that now changes into a duck or dog. I'm not sure what exactly that is on the left-hand side. So this is really handy. It's a nice way to sort of see that your code is working with a little pretend micro bit. It's also great if you're trying this and you don't actually have a micro bit, it allows you to play around and learn how to use one without having a physical device. Um, okay, so I have an icon and our goal is to show a happy face. So you can just select the happy face from here and that'll work just fine. But maybe, maybe you wanna draw your own happy face. I like, I don't, I want a nose on my happy face. Well, good news, under basic, instead of saying show icon, there's one here, show LEDs. And what that allows me to do is draw my own picture. So I'm actually gonna drag that over here and I'm gonna delete the show icon, delete. And I can draw my own little face, two eyes, little happy face, smiling face, and I'm gonna give mine a nose. There we go. Okay, I have a happy face. I can see it's showing the way I want it to show up over here. This be a nice happy face on my bat or my butterfly. Now I want to put this code on the physical micro bit that's connected by USB to my computer right now. So what we need to do now is connect the micro bit. So we're gonna go down here beside download and there's an option here, connect device. So I'm gonna choose connect device and it says, hey, connect your micro bit to the computer. If you haven't done that yet, do it now. I've already done so and then choose next. It says press the pair button below and it will find it. Okay, pair, and then up here it says 
Here's the device I want to connect to. Yep, that's my micro bit. Should look the same on your computer. Connect. And it says, okay, your micro bit is connected. Pressing download will now automatically copy your code to your micro bit. Okay, word of warning. There is a chance that when you did this, it gave you an error. It said it couldn't pair. Don't panic. I'm going to show you a little alternative way to move your code to the micro bit on the off chance that happens to you. So you go, but mine worked. So I say done. And now what I can do is if I hit the download button over here in the corner, it's now going to take this code and I'm going to download it to the physical micro bit. So if I actually look at my micro bit connected to my computer, I can actually see the happy face appearing. I'm like, awesome, cool. Now, if you got that error message saying it can't pair your micro bit or it couldn't connect to it or anything like that, what you're going to need to do is instead of choosing the download button to move the code, choose download as file. And what that's going to do is say, yes, download is completed. and like, awesome. So it's downloaded it. And in the top corner, you'll see it's downloaded a file called microbitflyingthing.hex. And it's put that in the downloads folder of my computer. And what I can do now is I can then just open that folder. And you can see the file name here. And all you have to do is drag that down here to micro bit. So just drag that file down, put it to micro bit, and that will copy the code onto your micro bit. So just on the off chance you had that problem where it couldn't connect or couldn't pair to your micro bit properly, that's the workaround. Okay, so done. Now, um, We've done a simple happy face. There's some other neat things you might want to play with now you've got this working. Uh, instead of showing LEDs, maybe you want to show a string. This is in the uh, taking it further section. So maybe we say instead of LEDs, oops, I have to do, oh, that's one of the other things too, by the way. Anytime you drag the top block, draw, pet, the top block, it drags the two together. Um, so when you want to move one at a time, you have to drag from the bottom. So if I just want to remove show LEDs, I'll just drag that that way. So now I'm going to show string hello, and you can see what it does is it actually spells the word hello sort of scrolling across the screen, which is, which is kind of neat. Um, so that's something else you can play with. It's kind of fun. And you can combine the two. You can show the string and then show the LED picture. So I have it showing hello. And again, this is where this preview is really handy. And then you can see it showing the happy face. Now, one of the things I find is when I have multiple images or multiple messages and I'm switching between them, sometimes it sort of jams them together. So there's a handy little trick here. Use the clear screen and add a clear screen after you show the string and add a clear string after you show the image. Now it's just going to be a little easier to read hello and then a little pause, then my happy face, and a little pause, because it clears the screen in between them. So it just makes it a little easier to look at. And then you can just download that to your physical micro bit, and you'll see it happening on the physical device. Congratulations, you are now controlling and programming your physical micro bit from make code. If you have the little battery connector, you could now connect the little battery connector, disconnect the micro bit from your computer, and this code will still be running. Happy coding.